I love Christmas. I love the smells, I love the lights, I love the fire, I love the family, I love the presents, I love the food, I love everything about it. But it can be a very difficult time of year. I don't know about you, but I kind of battle with my weight a bit and I've got a couple of intolerances that I need to manage. And all that temptation can be really, really difficult. For a lot of people, navigating through the Christmas season is a bit of a challenge. So what I've decided to do is to give you an early Christmas present. Over the next couple of days, I'll be sharing with you two of my favorite Christmas recipes, both super simple, fantastically versatile, and wonderfully healthy, specially designed to help you get through the Christmas season unscathed. The first thing we're going to do is some mince pie flavored amazeballs, delicious little nuggets of nutrition that uh, give you all the indulgence you need and that sweet kick when, when you need it. When everyone else is eating cake, you can have one of these. So here we go. First of all, we need to take some delicious walnuts. Now I know it's Christmas, we're all busy, we don't want to be bothering with measuring scales and all the rest of it. So we'll just be very simple and straightforward. We put our nuts into a mug, nice big mug here of nuts. And then we have an equal quantity, it's approximately nine uh, medjool dates. We put in there, already pitted, the stones have been removed. In addition, we have half a cup of pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are so good for you at this time of year, full of zinc, help you beat all those colds and um, sniffles. And here we have some uh, sultanas, soaked in a little bit of brandy, optional, but it is Christmas after all. In they go. We're going to add to this some wonderful cranberries, full of vitamin C, perfect for the season, juicy, tart, just what you need to counteract the sweetness of the dates. And then we have our herbs and spices. I'm putting in some chia seeds, not exactly a spice, but they help to kind of soak up the juice from the cranberries, providing all sorts of fiber. In addition, we've got cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. In they go. And then finally, some lemon zest. A lot of mince pie recipes call for um, candied peel. Now, candied peel is very sweet, it's a little bit kind of sticky and sugary and not really that good for us, especially when there are all those other things that are tempting us as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the very best bit of the citrus, which is the zest of the, of the lemon. Here we go, with our lovely zest, in it goes. And finally, simply because it's so good for us, and also because it's completely delicious, we're going to add a little glug of macadamia nut oil. This is the most perfect oil for cooking, uh, or in salads, or however you might want to use it. My husband likes to joke, he says, my style of cooking is whack and whiz, and he's not wrong here. You whack everything in and whiz it up. <laughs> So there we go, as simple as that, all whizzed up and delicious. I do like it to have a little bit of texture in there. Let's have a look, see how we're getting on. Nice. Great to see the colours, the lovely red of the cranberries and the soft green of the pumpkin seeds. It's kind of almost Christmas right there. And then what we do, as simple as anything, is we just take little handfuls of this yummy mixture and with nice clean hands, of course, roll them into little balls, almost like little yummy truffles. And then you roll them in some delicious chopped nuts. And there you have it. All the flavors of Christmas, without any of the drawbacks, rolled out into one perfect little ball, just for you to enjoy whenever you not feel bad about it at all. Mm. Mm. Actually, that's really, really good. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, God. A little kick from the brandy. Mm. Crunchy with all those nuts and the juicy cranberries just giving it that little extra. Everything in here 
your body understands and knows exactly what to do with it. It's 100% nutrition. Nothing you need to worry about or feel guilty about. Mm. Go for it. Yum, yum, yum. But let me show you what I've done before. Will you just look at these? If they don't put the ho 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 in wholesome, I don't know what does. Just the most wonderful snack. Perfect indulgence. Sweet, yes, but healthy for sure. Nothing here that won't do you a power of good. And you can share them with your friends. They're so delicious. Who wouldn't want to eat these? And look, in a beautiful kilner jar, what a perfect gift. Pop them under the tree, take them with you to parties. Just enjoy as much as you can. Thank you so much for joining me here in my Christmas kitchen. It's been my great pleasure having you here with me and I hope so much that you get as much pleasure from these ideas and recipes that I've shared with you as I've had showing them to you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you can get access to all my other ideas and health tips that um, I put out over the year. And if you go to prove.co dot uk slash christmas you can download my free christmas survival guide which is jam packed with recipes and ideas to help you have the happiest healthiest most ho ho wholesome christmas ever and the most wonderful new year cheers